All right. So uh, at the same time, both name and class name are optional. However, I would consider that class names are, you know, good option uh, to use on your sequence diagrams. Uh, you must uh, keep the column if using the class name uh, in UML2, the underline we already mentioned is optional over here, right? So these underlines basically indicates that's an actual instance to emphasize the, uh, the, the, the fact that we're dealing with specific instance, but at the same time they're, they're optional. Um, so use your judgment whether whether you know you find it more effective and uh, make your own decision. Activation bars are optional in UML, but extremely valuable in clarifying the behavior. So basically, you could do this without the activation bars, which are like those light gray uh, uh, shade over here in my in my situation. But uh, if you're uh, you know if you're not using them, it's it's hard it becomes a little harder. They're very effective as those vertical bars, those those activation bars. I, I suggest that you use them when you're doing your own uh, diagrams. Uh, creation and deletion of participants. Uh, the sequence diagrams show extra notation for creating deleting participants. To create participant, draw the message arrow directly into the participant box. So that's what we did with our adjustments for the interface and database to actually show that the controller actually has created them, right? So it, it actually did create them. Uh, message name is also optional uh, if using a constructor typically marked as new, right? So it's a, it's a better choice instead of using constructor name like interface or DB over here. New is, is, is very effective because it's reserved word and it just tells you, look, new object is created here, new object is created here. Obviously, it's a, it's a good choice. Deletion of participant using big X. We demonstrated this over here. A message arrow going into X indicates the participant explicitly deleting another, as we did with the controller and the database. Um, uh, in our case, uh, let me see. 